What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a parallel rebar on our model. So this will going to be a very quick uh, video just to show you the basic on how to do it. Alright, so let's do this. So on my 3D view, I'll go to the project browser and then I'll select 0 to floor. Just double click that. And then I'm going to zoom into this part here. I'm going to create a section here for my uh, detail view. So let's select the section tool, just click that one, and then I'm going to pick two points here. So this one, one, two. Okay, and then I'm going to adjust the boundary. So maybe I'll just put somewhere here and I'll just select a modify. Now, the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to open the section. So you just need to double click the head or you can click the line of the section, right click, and then you can select go to view. Okay, you can actually uh, flip the section if you want by selecting flip section. Or you can just click this icon here. Okay, so let's open up the view. Let me double click this. So here's now my section view. Now for me to be able to add the detail, I'm just going to change first the scale and then change the detail level. So currently, the scale here is 1 8 inch to 1 foot. So I'm going to change that to 1 fourth inch to 1 foot. So let me click that. And then after that, I'm going to change my detail level to fine detail level. There you go. So, And then I'm going to zoom in here. So this is where I'm going to place my rebar. So to do that, from the reinforcement panel, you can see the rebar tool here. Structural rebar. So it places planar, multiplanar, or freeform rebar. So I'm going to select this one. And then for this um, dialog, so I'll just select here OK. So that's fine. And there you go. So right after you select OK, you will now be able to see the rebar shape browser where you can select now the shape of your rebar. So here in the properties, so you have several properties here. I'm just going to use uh, number four. Okay, so rebar number four. And then for the rebar shape, I'm going to use T1, this one. Okay, I'm going to place to this space here. So I select T1, number 4 rebar, and then expand to host is already selected. Current work plane, that is where we are going to place it. For the placement, I'm going to make sure parallel to work plane is selected. Okay? And then after that, I'm now going to hover my pointer to this space. And then as you can see, there's now your uh, rebar preview. Okay? So you can now click it to place. There you go. And then you just need to select here, modify. So I just place a one rebar. So if I click the rebar here, I can still modify it. So I can change the size. I can uh, stretch. I can move. Or I can also press space bar to change the location of this part here. So if I press the space bar, as you can see, it changes. Okay. Every time I press the space bar. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to adjust that. So I'm going to select that arrow there to adjust, and then I'm going to place it somewhere here, and then I'm going to drag this one as well. There you go. And then select modify to terminate, and then that's it. So that's how you place your parallel uh, rebar. So if you want to see that in the 3D view, so let's go ahead. So let's click the rebar. And then after that, so let's select selection box so that it will isolate selected elements to make a 3D view. Okay, so let's select selection box. And there you go. So it's now inside this concrete here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the visual style to wireframe. And then you see there's now my rebar. I, I placed only one. And then for you to be able to see that in two lines so I can change the detail level here so I can change that to fine because currently it's medium detail level so I'm gonna make it fine there you go okay right so that's it for this simple exercise on my next video I'm gonna show you how to place a perpendicular rebar I'm gonna teach you how to set the re rebar cover 
creating and viewing rebar sets. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to multiply this rebar to on our uh, future videos. But for now, so that's it for this exercise. So hopefully, you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.